In looking at the charred remains of this home and knowing that the family of four that lived here will have to replace everything, it would be easy to feel down. But Jessica Warfield is instead thankful. I'm, I'm just so grateful. I don't have anything as far as material, uh, you know, material wise goes, but I couldn't imagine not having my kids. Warfield, her husband Brian Cables, their eight year old daughter and 12 year old son were asleep when the fire started about five o'clock this morning. Brian rushed through the house to get them all out. He punched out the window and we got our little girl out and our little boy who woke us up. Brian went back a second time for Ethan. Brian cut <laughs> two fingers down to the bone um, climbing into after he broke the glass to get Ethan. Well, sadly, this is a family that is getting used to this kind of thing. This is the home this family lived in just months ago. It too was destroyed by fire. They were able to save a lot then, but nearly everything is lost now. All except for this Bible. 31 years in the fire service this month. And I've seen that time and time again. Nothing else recognizable in the building. In Knox County, no doubt the Lord was watching over these children. Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil Pendleton, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News.